So today we are going to talk about existentialism. Uh, this is a philosophy that was started by Albert Camus and John Paul. They reacted towards World War II and there were reasons why they came up with this kind of a philosophy. First of all, they believed that there was no God. They also believed that uh, human beings were alone in this irrational kind of a universe. Uh, they also believed that the existence had no meaning. There were different plays that were written during this time, and the first one is The Files, and the other one is No Exit, that was written in 1944. Uh, in this particular kind of uh, written work, human beings were equated, equated to hell. So hell was equated or equated with people or human beings. Now, at some point, this movement was able to be combined with theatrical forms. So theatrical approaches were derived that combined this kind of a philosophy and the movement or the theatrical form was called Theater of Absurd. And we already know so many plays that have been written under that docket. Uh, and the one that is so famous is Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett. Now, playwrights who wrote plays of this uh, particular kind of uh, genre, they believed that life was ridiculous, that life was absurd, and they also believed that there was no God. Uh, they were able to project this kind of absurd kind of notions in dramatic forms. Later on, a play was written uh, by a writer called Samuel Beckett. And Samuel Beckett wrote a play, Waiting for Godot. Waiting for Godot has a script that is cyclical. That means things keep on repeating themselves. Act 2 looks like Act 1. Language that is used is not logical. There is no communication. Characters are speaking about many things but are not uh, doing any dialogue. They are not communicating to each other. Characters in this story, they do nothing. They practically do nothing. There is no hope, there is no faith, and there is no future. There is no meaning to existence. And at some point, they want to hang themselves. Now, in this story, fate makes some of the characters uh, change their role. Masters become servants, and the servants become uh, masters. And that's how life is most of the time. And if you look at Waiting for Godot and you compare it with, with what the playwrights were writing uh, during that era of uh, Theory of Absurd, you can check out human language. And human language is written in a telegraphic format, pass and it doesn't make sense. And characters fail to communicate. And these are elements that also applied in other plays that were written by other playwrights, including Eugene Ionesco and Jean Bennett. These are among uh, playwrights that worked at the same time as Samuel Beckett. And also in the plays, characters seem not to do anything. And there was no goal to what they were doing on a daily basis. The plots that were written during that time had no structure. They did not follow a logical structure. And so the plots started in a similar way and sometimes ended in an illogical way. There is illogical dramatic techniques used in this uh, particular kind of place. So that's how uh, Theory of Absurd started and that's how it's connected to uh, essentialism, a philosophy that was started by Albert Camus and John Paul.